Hello and welcome to Collecting Everything, the series where I try to get as many collection log items as possible. Last time on Collecting Everything, we did our first ever big grind of raids, and we were not let down, getting ourselves a few gems for the Karis, as well as the Lightbearer, which was my first ever raids unique. Now let's jump back into the next episode. Alright, to start off today's episode, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're not going to be focusing on the collection log right now. I know it sounds a little weird, but I am very close to finishing the hard combat achievements. I just need to kill Vedion like six times maybe, and then uh, kill Nightmare once. So that's, that's all I got left to do, so shouldn't take too long. Now that didn't take very long, there we are with Vedion Adept, and now all we have left is the one kill count Nightmare. So let's uh, head on over to Nightmare I guess for the first time. So it's been a hot minute since we've done these, so I currently have two, count it, two evil chicken feet, and none of the others. Uh, do I remember the amount that I've sacrificed? No. Am I dry? Definitely not. Am I owed another one? Definitely not. But let's see if we can be lucky. Oh, let's let's go evil chicken head. Let's go. You love to see it. Oh, two remaining. Two remaining. Can Oh, it's going to be greedy. I'm going to be greedy. Can I get another? No. But we got one of the better pieces. Look at that. Look at that thing. What a way to start the episode. Already with collection log 1015. If only those duplicate chicken feet were like legs or something, I would be. Oh, I'd be so good. I'd be so happy. All right. This episode's already off to a good start. Let's go. And just like that nightmare adept, we are now completely done with the hard tier of the combat achievements. And uh, I guess I'll maybe start focusing on Elite. I don't know if I'll ever actually like complete it because I'm not much of a gamer. But you know what? We, uh, we're done. We can move on and get the Gommel's Hilt, I guess, hard version. Oh, Gommel's Hilt hard. Um, yeah. Now, like I said, this is probably going to be the last time I'll ever get a new Hilt from Gommel. Uh, I just don't see myself actually completing the elite tier, uh, at least anytime soon. And uh, now the rewards for the hard tier is actually quite awesome. The hard clue drop rate is increased by 5% from everything except for imps, which if I wanted to ever do a hard clue grind in the future, that will certainly help with uh, getting hard clues from like jellies. Uh, the ecumenical key drop rate is increased, which is good for starting to learn God Wars, as well the God Wars boss instances is now something I can use, so never gonna have a problem finding a world. And that's basically the the rewards that are most worth it for me. Now, if I did do the elite tier, it's the same stuff, but with like elite clues. So that's the only upside I could see to me doing the elite tier of the combat achievements. But uh, if you guys would actually like to see me try to do the elite tier, let me know down below and uh, maybe I'll be able to attempt the elite tier. Callisto, you say? Ooh. I can do up to 50? Oh, I might regret this. All right, let's go try out. RDO. Well, I missed it, but there's 114 farming. Still with no pet, so uh, maybe at 115 we'll have the pet. Okay, I definitely do regret this, so uh, I can't do it. It's the weekend, I just want to do some Slayer, so 
Yeah, we're canceling that. Blood builds. All right, that's something I can do in the catacombs because I'd like to get some more totem pieces. All right, next task for us is hellhounds. Lovely. Let's go get ourselves the jar of souls. All right, which I've probably already said uh, what I need from Cerberus, but if I didn't, we need the jar of souls and the hell puppy. Can we spoon them early? It'd be great. I'd love to actually have another Slayer boss completed. Is under 2,000 a little, a little too much? All right, we're at 100 kill count into the task or 1,100 in total. Uh, nothing so far this task, kind of just been chilling. Not, nothing too much to record. So hopefully we can see something soon or else uh, kind of a bust of a Cerberus task. All right, we got a couple clues here from Cerberus so far. Hopefully we can get a new item or we can get a master right away. Not bad. All right, let's do the elite. Oh, hey, look at that. The Dark Infinity color kit. Nice. And, uh, oh, okay. And the Steel Dragon Math, that lame. That's big sad. But two items and one elite, not bad. All right, we got ourselves two master clues here. A Shazian hood? Hell yeah. Gr Wait, three items in one clue? Nice. That's that's a good clue. Nice, easy seven mil. Nice. I think that's actually most of the ornament kits I have now. So that's not bad. Uh, oh, straight into another one. But sadly, I have that one already. So, oh, well, but. What a good two set of uh, master clues. Okay, never mind. I, I lied. I have lots of uh, ornament kits left to go, but the master clues are, they're looking pretty full. I'm liking it. Oh, let's go. Primordial crystal. Easy money. Let's go. You just love to see those kinds of drops. It's just beautiful. Two, I, I, yeah. I'm going to say it. I wish, I wish it was the jar of souls but the money's nice all right and there we are with the last cerberus done i would say this was a pretty successful uh task made some money but uh no collection logs from cerberus though and here's the final elite from cerberus yep uh i guess i deserve that from the last couple elites all right next Assignment do I want? No, I, I, I really don't. All right, black demons. I guess that means we're gonna go do some What are they called? Demonic gorillas. That's what they're called. Yeah, we're gonna go do some of those All right, so it has been a very long time since I've killed Skatizo. I've got two totems to use so two chances at finishing off the Skatizo Collection log wherever there he is so we need three items. We need the Jar of Darkness, obviously. Thank God that the drop rate has been fixed or changed. Uh, the Dark Totem, I think, is 1 in 128, so... And then the Pet. 1 in... Oh God, what is it? It's something stupid, like 1 in 50, right? 1 in 65. Okay, so again, I'm dry, so <laughs> what's new there? Maybe we'll get lucky and snipe that. Any of them would be great. Now, I forgot how long Skatizo's death animation was. You think they would have made it, like, not take forever? But, uh, oh, anyways. Good luck, me. Eh, hard clue. Okay, well. At least we got that. All right, and we're straight into the next kill. Uh, Again, hoping for something, please. Not even an elite this time? Come on. Two... So here's the two hard caskets from Skatizo. Can we get something new? No? Yeah, let's go. Two new collection logs. The pith helmet. Was hey AJ say? Are you taking the pith? Yeah, whenever he gets one. Yeah, you taking the pith? Yeah. <laughs> two new collection logs. Let's go. Into the 20s now. Let's go. Yeah, I really do have to do hard clues because this is sad. This is really sad. But imps are a lot of money right now, so uh, probably not going to be doing that anytime soon. 
Like, I really want to finish this. I really want to finish this, but they're just too expensive. Ooh, slash receipts. That seems rare. Oh, hey, look at that. We got ourselves our first ever drop from Gluff's Experiments, the Zenite Shard. What a good first drop. Obviously, it is like the most common item from Gluff's Experiments, uh, but it's not a bad one to get. Easy, like 11 mil there. Like, I'm kind of surprised like the price of these things are still that high, but I'm not going to complain. <laughs> Money's money. Now, hopefully we can see maybe one more item this task. That'd be nice, uh, especially if we could get like the uh, the monkey tail. I think that'd be a nice one to get out of the way because I think that's the most rare item from here. Obviously, if I don't get it here, I can also get it from the, the hunting training method. That's way down the road if I'm that dry. Oh, let's go, Ballista Limbs. Another collection log. No way. This is just a great task. I'm actually like, I'm feeling pretty lucky here at Gluff's Experiments. I don't know, is this actually good? I don't even know the drop rate of the Ballista Limbs. But I know that the frame and the tail are the... If I could get the tail, I'd be like super stoked. All right, I have some clues from Demonic Gorillas, so hopefully we can see another item. Awesome, great start. Uh, onto the elites. Nice. Yeah, there we go. Another collection log. Black Dehyde Body G. Let's go. Sadly, the Hosidious Scarf is one I've gotten before. Well, that's not bad. Oh, nice. Slowly catching up to the uh, 200 kill ca or pff, 200 caskets for uh, was it the giant casket that you get from elites? So we'll get there one day. All right, and this is the last kill of the Demonics task. Um, I guess you guys can definitely see these more prominent in the future because this task kind of grew on me as I, the more I did it, the easier it got, obviously. But uh, yeah, I, I didn't mind this task. I definitely look forward to doing more of these tasks in the future. All right, and our new task is Drake's. I'm definitely not going to do that. I know, I say it every time, I still need the throwing axes and knives, but I'll get that at Hydra. Tazar, much better. No, I'm s I'm upset, no, I'm sitting in play body part two, no. I was kind of hoping for the no dupe, but you know, I'll take it, I'll, I guess I'll take it. Damn. <laughs> Hopefully we can get the helm. I know it's a lot to ask for for a 1 in 2k drop, but please. And that's the task. Sadly, we did not get the obby helm. Hopefully we can get the back-to-back -back task. I don't I don't hate this task. It's a fun one. You know, I just kind of get to AFK and hope for a 1 in 2k drop. So hopefully we get that next time. More Serb. Let's go. Again, there's not much to show here so far. But there we are with 1300 kill count at Cerberus. Hopefully we can see the jar pet soon. Or maybe another primordial? Hey, there we go. Another primordial crystal. I think in just this video alone, I've made maybe 80 mil from just like doing Slayer. I should I should do Slayer more often because then I might have some money to actually do some impling soon. Because that's, that's all what I really want to do is just clues right <laughs> but yeah nice and once again we are coming to the end of another Cerberus task 1400 kill count again no jar souls or pet but we still made money so I can't complain uh, hopefully the next task though maybe we can see the jar but let's go get a new task hopefully we can get the back to back because I would not say no all right, we got ourselves another like a boss task, but this time it's Zilliana, something I haven't done in a very long time, basically. So 
Hopefully we can see our first item from Sarah, because I think every other God Wars boss I've gotten a sub 100 drop, so hopefully we can do that with Zilliana too. Alright, and that's where we're going to be ending off today's episode. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed. In today's episode, we gained 10 new items in the collection log. It has been a very long time since we've gotten like that many items in one video. So if you did enjoy, I think you should leave the video a like to help it get picked up by the YouTube algorithm. And you know, again, if you're feeling spicy, subscribe. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video, hopefully very soon. Later, my dudes. Have a good one.